What's going on you guys? Litman Tuck is coming back at you with another book review and today you're going to get a two for one special. So I talked about it about a week ago how I'm going to start doing these reviews and I decided instead of just doing one book at a time, I may still do one book here and there, but I may do two or three books in one review. The first book I want to talk about is Axiom by Dakota Kraut and narrated by Travis Baldry. And what a combination, man. I saw that combination. I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and try this book. Also, I was able to get the book set. So I got three books for, I got the entire series for the price of one. So I just finished Axiom and oh my goodness, man, the main character, I'm not going to tell you his name. I will say this. This is a spoiler alert right here. I will say this in the book, in the, in the, in a certain village um, that the MC lives in, nobody has a name. You pretty much have to earn your name and you become you basically become the name you're given or they give you the name of what they want you to be. I will just leave it at that on that one. But the, uh, and I will say the main character is, um, I'm used to different characters, um, having like being like a little bit ahead of the game in power. Um, but this character is old, weak, decrepit. But one thing about it, where's my water? I'm thirsty over here, man. Hold on. Sorry. One thing about him, though, man, he is like everybody's grandpa. You know, like he's a he's a he's a cool dude. He's very knowledgeable, very philosophical, and he pretty much knows everything uh, according to the people who talk to him. And uh, you, when I first got into the book, I was like, oh, okay, you know what? I don't know about this, but I do know uh, I have read works of Dakota Kraut before, and it's a shoe in that it's going to be good. And I would say within a couple of hours or so, I totally fell in love with the, the main character. Even though I loved like the overpowered characters and like super big characters, whatever. This character, man, is, is multifaceted and he has a background that we don't even know about yet. You know, like because he's an old man, lots of damage to his body. And in, in this book, it's like a lesson on cultivation. So if you never tried like one of the cultivation books in this genre, you get a lesson and you really, um, you really learn how to, you really, you really learn the ropes of the book. Um, dang it. Am I getting a phone call right now while I'm recording? Hold on, man. All right, man. I am back. Sorry about that. I am recording. I'm actually recording this from my phone and that was my wife. It's almost child pickup time. And so I had to answer that. I could not ignore it. Had to answer to make sure we got all the moving pieces uh, going in the right direction. Extra moving piece tonight. But anyway, let me get back at it, man. I'm telling you, Axiom is a great book when it comes to, and like they really go into depth, into detail about cultivation, but also the main character, um, he's old and he's all jacked up. He's filled with um, corruption and he has to do things his own way. Being a smart old dude, you know, he's finding like different ways to go about it. You know, you know how it goes, but it's very interesting because the way he explains himself, man, I, I just love, I, I like the character. I really like the character. Didn't know that I would like an old dude, but, um, but I, I really like this dude. He's very mischievous as well. So lots of fun with this book. I just finished book one and I'm going into book two. So the next book I want to talk about, let's see here. I got to get the names because I think there's two names for this book. So I had a hard time finding it. It is called Monsters and Legends, a lit RP cultivation saga. And let's see, who is it by? I can't find the author right now. Doesn't even say. But I'll read it out. The world has ended and those worthy of it has received the chance at a new life. Zach grew in power and thrived in a new post-framework world. He became a respected leader, a shining example of what it meant to be good. But as the world ended, he only had one thought to punish the monster that killed the world long before the framework ended. Yet not even his incredible power was able to stand against a world ender. His arrival in the new reality, Infinite Realm, gives him the chance to grow stronger to find the monster again and make it pay. Ryun survived the chaos after the arrival of the framework by pushing harder than anyone else. He grew in power until he became the most powerful being that ever walked the planet. That makes me think about Yujiro. 
Wait, where was I? But he is hated by the world, called a monster by all others, the world ender. As the world ends and he steps into the new one, where people stronger than him have, have lived for centuries, he finds himself lost and without purpose. The only thing that mattered to him had been lost to him long ago. He truly was the monster that never, <clears throat> excuse me, that never been one for lying down and dying without a fight. One world fell to his power, another might follow. Warning, this book contains RPG mechanics, tables, cultivation, profanity, gore. Why am I reading the warning? Um, so let me go back here because I believe there's another name. And I want to give a shout out to the uh, uh, one of the su subscribers, Matt, part of the, the Lit Man Tuck crew, get, getting lit out here, literature. Uh, he says, Tuck, a book I think you should check out is Immortals and Monsters. It's got cultivation and lit RPG basically told through the different POVs and it's post-apocalyptic, but with the twist. I think you'll like it. By the way, thanks for the review. Never heard of this series. So he was basically commenting on a, another book. And so when I was looking for that book, it, it just wouldn't come up in my search. And then that book came up. So it came up with a slightly different name, but I believe it is the same one. If it's not, hey, all the better. I got another good reference to a book to read. But man, it, this book was intense. It reminds me a lot of some of those other um, cultivation series where you just have this overpower. So I did, I normally don't read the description out loud, but I wanted to, so I wouldn't spoil the book. So Zach, he's one of the main characters. So they have like two or three uh, main characters here. Zach is one of the main characters. Of course, they get forced into this world, right? Where they have the stats, they have the options to be a cultivator, class, or skill. And so Zach is becoming powerful. His homeboy, his best friend, Ryun, is another one in that world. But Ryun is very obsessive about gaining power. And so he's the world ender. They call him the world ender because you live in a world for a certain amount of time. And then the gods, they say, okay, that's it for this world. We're going to put you into another world. And the 10,000 strongest people make it. Well, Ryun, he was so obsessed that he basically killed everybody in the world. So there was no 10,000 people to go to the next world. It was only like seven, right? And that's a, kind of like a little spoiler that happens kind of at the beginning, but I didn't really spoil the book for you because it takes off after that. Normally in the world, 10,000 people come, but he killed so many people, it was only seven left. And so his friends were appalled by it. And just like it said in the, um, just like it said in the description, he tried to kill him to so he wouldn't go to that next world and do the same thing. And Reune, man, like, man, I, I really like this character. Like, some of my favorite characters. Man, I'm thirsty today, boy. Hold up. Some of my favorite characters are the characters that's kind of like lost a little bit of their humanity. They've killed so much that they're not evil but they lost, they're, they're kind of like amoral, you know what I'm saying? And Reune, he fits that mold perfectly. And he's navigating through this new world, uh, basically trying to find himself. And he starts to find himself after a while, man. But uh, I, it was, to me, like when this book ended, I was like in shock. Uh, not because anything crazy happened at the end, but I just really wanted to, to get to the next one. But unfortunately, they didn't have book two on Audible, and I do not have time to actually read. I know there's like an argument out there where some people are like, oh, if you're on book two, it doesn't count if you do Audible. You got to actually read the book. And I disagree with that because these days with four kiddos and all this stuff swirling about, I just don't have time to read. Whenever I do read a hold a book in my hand, I fall asleep like in 30 seconds. When I do an Audible, it gives me a chance to listen to a story, uh, to scratch that uh, you know, gaming itch because I don't have a lot of time these days. And um, and I can drive somewhere and I can listen. I can clean, I can do different things and I can listen to it. I can do my work while I listen to it. And so I don't I don't agree with that, uh, that you have to read an actual book to come on here and review a book. And I like I like hearing the narration because they add a different twist to it that I can't do with my own brain. You see what I'm saying? But anyway, man, Check out that book again, like if you like uh, cultivation type books and if you like like truly like overpowered characters, 
that's just gaining a lot of power and see what he does, man, is is a good one. I appreciate that. That's uh, I appreciate that um, that heads up about this book, and that's part of why I made this channel, man, to find people of like minds. Um, because if I'm walking down the street, if I'm going to work or whatever, I'm not going to really find a lot of people who just read books all the time or listen to books or, you know, there might be some, but, you know, but, so that's why I like uh, having this channel because people hop on here, man, and they give me comments and then they, they give suggestions or they say, oh, wow, I didn't think about that book. And so they end up reading the book because of seeing one of the videos, you know? So anyway, man, that's all I got for today, man. Um, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you Thursday.